Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, square that has been divided into four uh, different region. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, pink uh, region area is represented by 6x uh, plus 5. The area of this uh, green region is represented by 12x uh, minus 1. And finally, the area of this uh, yellow region is represented by 6x uh, plus 2. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. And furthermore, these uh, side lengths uh, are equal uh, in length, as you can see over here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. And we can see that this is the point that is in common among these uh, four regions. And in this uh, next step, I have connected this uh, common point with all these uh, four corner points uh, of uh, this square. And as a result, we got a bunch of uh, these uh, triangles, as you can see over here. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And we can see for these uh, both uh, triangles, this uh, base is uh, same. And this is the height, uh, as you can see over here. This is uh, same for both of these uh, triangles. So therefore, we conclude that the area for this triangle is equal to the area of this uh, triangle. I suppose the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, A. Then the area of this uh, pink triangle is going to be A as well. And now we know that the area for this uh, pink uh, region is uh, 6x plus 5. And the area of this uh, triangle part is uh, A. Then the area of uh, this uh, triangle is going to be equal to this whole area minus uh, this area A. So therefore, I can write uh, this area as a 6x uh, plus uh, 5 minus uh, A. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this triangle and uh, this triangle. Once again, uh, their bases uh, are uh, same over here. And the height uh, of these uh, both uh, triangle is uh, same as well. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this triangle is going to be equal to this triangle. And we know that the area of this uh, triangle is 6x plus y minus a. So therefore, the area of uh, this triangle is going to be 6x plus 5 minus a as well. And now let's focus on this uh, green region. Its area is represented by 12x uh, minus 1. We know the area of this part of this uh, green region is uh, 6x plus 5 minus a. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle is going to be equal to this whole green area minus uh, this uh, shaded area. So therefore, I can write uh, 12x minus 1 and then minus uh, this uh, 6x plus 5 minus uh, a. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing 12x minus 1 and if we distribute this negative sign that's going to give us a negative 6x minus 5 plus a. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. We are going to have a 6x minus 6 plus a. So therefore, I can write the area of this triangle is going to become 6x minus 6 plus a. And now let's focus on these two triangles, this triangle and this triangle. Both of these one have same base and the same height. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle is going to be equal to this uh, yellow shaded triangle. 
And we know the area of this uh, shaded triangle is uh, 6x minus 6 plus a. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be 6x uh, minus 6 uh, plus a as well. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded region whose area is represented by 6x plus 2. And the area of this uh, shaded region is uh, 6x minus 6 plus a. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is going to be equal to this whole area minus uh, this uh, shaded area. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down this whole area is uh, 6x uh, plus 2. Take away this uh, area 6x uh, minus 6 uh, plus uh, a. Let's go ahead and simplify. So this is 6x uh, plus uh, 2. Let me go ahead and distribute uh, this negative sign. That's going to give us negative uh, 6x plus uh, 6 uh, minus uh, a. And now we can see that this x, 6x uh, and this uh, negative 6x is uh, gone. So we are ended up with uh, this uh, 2 plus 6 is going to become 8 minus uh, a. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle turns out to be 8 minus uh, a. And finally let's focus on these uh, two triangles whose uh, base uh, length uh, is equal over here and their height uh, is uh, equal as well. Therefore, we conclude the area of this uh, triangle is going to be equal to the area of this triangle. If the area of this triangle is uh, 8 minus a, then the area of uh, this uh, yellow shaded triangle is going to be 8 minus a as well. And finally, since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, whole uh, blue shaded region, so therefore this is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual uh, areas. So let me go ahead and write down uh, 8 uh, minus a plus uh, a. And we can see this negative a and positive a is uh, gone. And we are ended up with simply 8 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 8 uh, square uh, units. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 8 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.